Back-to-back -back videos of short people slander. Last video she did, she took her wristwatch off and threw it at this guy. And now he's using it as a back brace. Why are you doing this to us, man? Ma'am, why are you doing this to us, ma'am? Hey yo, work to my mother, son. Push, 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 push. You do that to my daughter, I'm washing you. I know I have a son. At some point in time, my son is gonna be a teenager. He's gonna get to venture out in this world. As a parent, I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that my son does not end up like this. What I mean when I say that is, one, he chooses the right friends, okay? So you're not gonna have friends that are gonna beat you up and embarrass you for clout over the internet. But two, I'm gonna train you to be so dangerous and to carry yourself in such a way that nobody's gonna try you like this. Because what this is, is a case of, I know she's not gonna do anything back. So I'm gonna take advantage of the situation. General manager at Wayne Stop on First Street. Oh, oh, she whooping his ass. I'm waiting on the police. The police ain't came yet. I ordered food at 12 11. It's after 1 o'clock. I still haven't got, I got my food after 45 minutes of waiting. She grabbed my food. She grabbed my food. She threw my food away. She grabbed, she grabbed my food. You got the customer, I mean, you got employees trying to grab my phone from recording. General manager, I, went. I ain't gonna lie. We might need more context. I feel as though you did some foo foo shit. That got under her skin. Now, I know what y'all gonna say. But she gotta remain professional. Man. That professional shit is all fine and dandy. Until somebody crossed that line of scrimmage. And a lot of these people are habitual line steppers. Habitual line steppers. I can tell from the way he sound from behind that camera. He's a habitual line stepper. I hate customer service. Customer service gives people the misconception that they can treat you and talk to you however they want. Like your gum under their shoes. Then you have management that'll come down and say shit like, the customer's always right, but then put you in situations where you and the customers are gonna have static, but expect you to handle that shit while they sitting in they million dollar house. They're the ones creating the problems. A lot of times, they're the ones creating the problems. Bro, I remember when I worked at that cookie place, we used to have to charge 25 cents for a cup of water. I want you to think about it this way, because I know what y'all going to say. Well, he got to buy those cups. It costs for him to buy those cups. Yes, it do. But on the flip side, when the cookies are overpriced and the brownies are overpriced, that makes up for how much ever money you spent for those cups. So people will come in there They'll buy these overpriced ass cookies and then it'll come back. Oh, can we get a cup of water? Now you as an employee got to say it's 25 cents. Bro, every time we used to say that, I feel as though you could read it on our face because you it's 25 cents. Like you got to have that like, you know, hated that shit. You know how many arguments I done got into when I worked at that damn cookie place because we had to charge people 25 cents for a cup of water? I got a neighbor with a two million dollar car, and we live right across the street from the club. But we parked his car right in front of the club every time we want to go to the club. Never understood it, but see, they think a little differently. One time I heard him spin some game to a kid. The kid was asking him, Yo, what can I do? I want to live like you. He said, Well, what do you do? He said, Well, I got two businesses. You know, they're doing pretty well. I got a full time job. Stop him right there. He said, Wait, what? You got a full time job. Nah, man. You said, how can you be a slave and a boss at the same time? It just don't work. Quit that job. Quit being a slave. Work for yourself full time. And then you can live like a boss full time. Real talk. Can't slave for somebody else. Quit that job. Let that shit go. We know how to survive. Throw a baby in the water. I bet you that must win. <laughs> Yo, when the video comes in at the right time. So, 
I took the last two weeks off from my job because I have a decision to make. Granted, I did hit 100K on YouTube. Thank you for that. I honestly feel as though I can do this full time. Currently, I'm projected to make six figures doing YouTube. My nine to five, I ain't even gonna say my nine to five, but my 12 hour shift will get in the way of that. For the past year and a half, I've been working at that job. I love that job, dog. I ain't gonna lie, it's probably the best job I've ever had. You know, it has a mixture of things that I, I like to do. I like computers. You know, I like to work, I like to learn new things, and I I learn something new every day that I go to work. And it pays good, but I had to make a decision. And I'm still contemplating making the decision. I'm not gonna lie though, my supervisor trying to send me the night shift. Let's go ahead and spark that up right quick. My supervisor trying to send me the night shift. I don't blame him. I'm not mad at him for trying to send me the night shift. It's fair because it's other employees that's been there since I've been there that has been on night shift for a long time. So it is fair. But I know that going to night shift is going to affect my production of YouTube videos. How can you be a, a boss and a slave at the same time? Bro, how do you... Oh, he going crazy. He's going crazy. How do you discover that you can do shit like this? Honestly, like, how, how do you discover... I was going to say some of y'all be having too much time on y'all hands, but that is impressive, so... His first time trying refrigerated water. Where the cat having a moment. <laughs> the cat is having a moment. <laughs> I ain't gonna go no further. Oh, I seen this video. He doesn't want to leave his stepdad. Boy, I ain't. Now, I ain't gonna lie. If I'm trying to take my son and go someplace, and he out there acting like this with another man, his stepdad, I get in my feelings. I seen this video too in the comment section. People were saying it must be some some abuse going on in the other household. That's why he doesn't want to leave. And I don't know. That could be the case. But sometimes, bro, if you have some rules and regulations in your crib and your child goes someplace else where they're a little more free, they can act like this. Perfect example, when my son go to his godfather house in the city, he don't be wanting to come back here. His godfather got the little dog. He got the little small ass dog. Let him eat whatever the hell he want. He be on the PlayStation. Then his godfather got the, the Oculus, the virtual reality game. So he don't want to come back to the house. We don't have all that shit here. He don't act like this. But he, he definitely know me when we come back home. And he went back to New York last week. His ass was not trying to talk to us. We were call on the phone. He act like, we like, you ready for school? No. I'm staying in New York. Motherfucker act like we did not exist, dog. Grandparents, I had to, I had to, um, I had to have a real conversation with his grandparents. Because they out there getting him pizza every day. Man's eating pizza every day. You think he want to come back down here where he have to, he got to eat his vegetables? <laughs> Just to be clear, here's my hands, guys. So when nobody claims I'm doing a damn thing. I honestly, what y'all think? Do y'all think it's a, it's a situation of abuse, or do y'all think it's a situation of he has more fun at his stepdad's house? Kids can act like that just because it's more fun at my cousin's house. It's more fun. You know what I'm saying? Stepdad probably got the PlayStation. My boy Eduardo probably don't have that over there. It could be many things. I just dislike the fact that people just jump to that conclusion in the comment section. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right.